Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. Yeah, welcome back guys. And for today's video, we have another snacks taste test video and we've come back to Marks and Spencers or Marks and Sparks as Marks we call and it. Marks and Sparks, yes. Uh, and it's been a while. It's been a, it a has. few months. Yeah, months, we, we, often, we obviously do these videos quite a lot. Um, you guys always request them. We enjoy doing them, but we've not done one at Marks and Spencers for a little while. Hopefully you know the drill by now. If you do watch our videos, we are going to try a bunch of these snacks. We have a mix of savory and sweet. We're going to let you know what we think. We do also give it a little rating out of 10, although we're pretty terrible with our ratings. We forget what we rate things and stuff, but hey, it's part of the video. So we actually have the oven on because something needs to go in there, but we yeah. wanted to introduce it as it comes, first and foremost. So Plant Kitchen is m and in-house yeah. vegan brand, yeah. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, like Wicked is Tesco's, yes. that sort of thing. And here we have a no pork sausage roll in puff pastry. And I think you can eat it cold, but I'm not going to do be that. Hot, though, a a proper sausage roll has yeah. got to be hot. So we're going to put it in the oven, but we thought we'd introduce it and then when it's ready, we'll uh, yeah. give it a try. And obviously having this channel, Emma and I have tried many a vegan sausage roll. Yes. So I feel like we're quite equipped to better judge this accurately. Up until now, it's Wenzel's, isn't it? Yes. Wenzel's very is good. the best very, very good. vegan sausage roll yeah, that amazing. we've ever tried. So I'm going to pop this in the oven then and it needs 15 minutes. So okay. we'll get it out when it's ready. Yeah. Right, and just like that, it's in the oven. And we're gonna get straight into it. And there are a couple of frozen items that we're gonna try straight away because they are rapidly defrosting. Yeah. Um, and actually... I think these might be some of the coolest We're literally we've starting got, yeah. with the best. So two frozen bits here. Let's try these first. Yeah. These are chocolate truffle mini bites. Come frozen. on. I mean, these are incredible. Listen to this. A chocolate flavored ice cream coated in chocolate cookie dough and milk chocolate flakes. Unreal. That has to just be a winner. Straight off the bat, surely. These look amazing. They sound great. Mini They've bats. kind of got like mini moon... No, what are they called? I don't know. Like, little, the moon of things. Little moons. Little moon little vibes. Moons. We've still not tried them. I've not tried them. Yeah, and also we have never tried the Magnum Bites. But like, no. obviously this like bite-sized yeah. ice cream vibe is really coming it's in. Thing. <gasps> oh, that's a good, it's a good amount. There it is. It smells good. good. Okay. I hope it doesn't hurt my teeth. Yeah. I need to ice cream. Wow, that is a lot of chocolate. You got chocolate around your mouth. <laughs> got it. Got it? Yeah. Mmm. That is delicious. Is it good? So the outside layer, the sort of cookie dough is obviously not as frozen, so it takes you a second to realise there's ice cream in there. Oh my. How good. The cookie dough is, yeah, like you say, it's soft. It's still got that kind of like soft cookie texture mm. to it. And the ice cream in the middle is just so good. That is delicious. They are an absolute treat. Aren't they? Very, very good. Oh. They are delicious. That is a 10 out of 10. Easily a 10 Straight out of 10. Straight off the bat. Amazing. Starting strong. You gotta try these. So let's move straight on to our other frozen item. This is layered speculoos. Biscoff. Basically biscoff and caramel. Italian gelato. But it's not just that. It's not just that. It looks way more than it's that. It's the gelato layered with cinnamon biscuit crumble and rich caramel sauce. It, it looks oh like my. a cheesecake. It that looks... looks like a cheesecake to me. Do you remember when M&S bought out those things, like those cakes in a jar? Yes. They've done that, they've tripled the size of it, yeah. and they've put ice cream and all other stuff in it, Yeah. and made it into this thing, and it just looks it amazing. It looks unbelievable. You know, we're so close to getting the tiramisu flavor as well. Tiramisu. There's, there's more flavors, but tiramisu and speculoos definitely caught our eye. You can kind of see, it looks like there's like biscuit at the bottom. If I can open it. Oh my goodness. I think all ice cream should have a screw on lid like that. It's so, so true. It feels so luxurious. <laughs> this honestly looks incredible. Ooh, okay, right, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna dig down. Okay. Because oh, I wow. think it's quite soft. It is marginally melted to be fair. Whoa. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It, it feels, I can't explain it, it just feels fancy. It feels like fancy ice cream or fancy gelato. Oh, 
I've got some biscuit there for you. Look. <gasps> oh my goodness. That Can honestly. You see that. That looks heavenly. Oh. That really is a thing of absolute beauty. Did you get the biscuit? The biscuit's there. Oh, the biscuit's cinnamony. Is it? I'm not sure about that. Oh, I like a bit of cinnamon. Mm. The ice cream is so creamy. It's not ice cream, sorry, gelato. Yeah, you can't call it ice yeah, cream. Yeah, you can't call it ice cream. We kick you off. Can't call ice cream. But it's so creamy. It's just so try, indulgent. Try that because it's very cinnamony. The biscuit is very cinnamony. Mmm. Oh yes. Yes, it's, a, it's the biscuit. All about the biscuit for me. Unreal. This is very good. I very, want to try the tiramisu good. one. The tiramisu one would be amazing, I reckon. I'm pretty sure that was four fifty. It was five pound. A fiver. Fiver. Five pound. But do you know what I was thinking this on the car on the way home? Ben and Jerry's is like a fiver a top. Yeah. It, I know, like Unless now it's always on offer, but like. Literally, not that long ago, Ben and, Jer ben and Jerry's was a fiver. Yeah. No matter what. And you always pay it. It's worth it. That is worth a fiver all day long. It's, it is good. You scoop that out, you get four or five servings out of that easily. Mm. Like generous dessert servings. That's really That's good. That's another 10. Easily a 10 out of 10. Literally, there's not enough numbers to... I love that. Should we try some savoury... Let's, let's try these. Yeah. Okay, these, cool. Yeah, these. Yeah. Okay, so these were the first things we picked up because they're in the sandwich section. This is... Plant Kitchen again, roasted vegetable pasta salad, Greek style cubes in a tomato dressing. This is not my vibe. There's no. feta in it, there's olives in it. But it's not real feta, is it? It's vegan. Oh, I don't like normal feta. So, I normally go for, if I have a meal deal, I'll go for a sandwich over a pasta dish. Yeah. But, I liked that they had something new. Yeah, but is I that also that. because like Tesco's, Morrison's, all of those guys, their pasta dishes are awful. They are terrible. Do you think? They are really bad. I don't like them. You might, but I don't think they're very good. This looks a bit more highbrow. It's M&S. What do you expect? Highbrow? Yeah. What's highbrow? You know, a bit more like, oh, that looks, that looks a like a decent fancy. bit of pasta. What, like, Ooh. highbrow? Ooh. <laughs> okay. I think it's, you know, roasted vegetables. It's a bit you do like a bit of roasted veg. Okay. I feel like it's... It, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like pasta and sauce. Should I try this? Because I know you won't. I, I, you won't catch me trying that. What's vegan feta like? I think I prefer normal feta, but it's pretty similar. Oh, actually, no, I'm not sure what they're after taste. Yeah. The pasta's nice. I would just not eat. I would eat around the fake the feta. The pasta's nice. Yeah, it tastes pretty just, fresh, actually. Like it's just like veggie pasta bake, mm. but like cold pasta bake. Mm. I'm gonna give that. A, hmm. Seven. I'm going to give it a six because it's just nothing fancy. It's yeah. like, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's on the go. It's on the go eats. For me, I would be keen for some sort of plant kitchen pesto. Yeah. Pesto. Oh, that would be nice. Pesto. Yeah, like that's kind of what it needs. A little bit of a kick. Um, just all right. Right, I need a drink. So. Oh. <laughs> As a segue. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, we don't rehearse these things. <laughs> Obviously. So there's a quite there's a few of these um, these new kind of like lemonades, um, and I really. Are you okay there? Um, um, you're just arming a lot in that sentence. Was I really? <laughs> I thought like I didn't even realise oh, that I was. Um... Um... So there was a few of these new lemonade type things. I really like a cloudy lemonade. And also I like the size of a bottle like this. Yeah, it's a litre, right? Uh, yes. I like that. Small enough to put in your bag. Ooh. Whoa. Is it still or is oh, it fizzy? Pouring, nice. Fizzy, fizzy. The, the, the cap nearly came flying off on me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we all like this. Oh, okay. It's much subtler than it smells. Oh, see, I like that. Yeah. I like subtle, you, you like that, subtle yeah. juices and stuff. Um, for me, it smelt really good, and then it's a bit, it falls a little bit flat, I think, for me. It's not got that, you know, when you have a bit of lemon, it's a bit like. It's not, yeah, it's not quite tangy. Not tangy. It's not tart. It's not, yeah, what's the word? Tart. Kind sharp. of, yeah, sharp, yeah. It's not got that sharpness, that, especially with cloudy lemonade, it's normally got to be a bit like. A bit what? <laughs> but it didn't have that. 
Uh, I'm it's not sure right. about that. I'd give it a six. I'll give it a I think it's all right. Yeah, I'd give it a six. But um, I'm sure it's quite refreshing on a hot day. You get a cold glass of fizzy yeah. lemonade. So it's again, like from the kind of like sandwich section, this is a limited edition new clucking chicken roll. Clucking. Clucking. Breaded chicken with charred slaw, Ooh, like MSL cheese, and burger sauce. Burger sauce? Really? Burger sauce and chicken. What? Okay. It does look good. Obviously, it's like a, you know, it's more than just your normal supermarket sandwich. They do go a bit bougie in Marks and Spencer's for their, do. their sandwiches, I think. And we've picked this up. Oh. The sausage roll's ready. Sausage roll's ready. What do we do? Pause, do and I'll just it? remove said sausage roll. Okay. It will be piping hot anyway. Okay, yeah, let's, we'll get, let it cool off for a minute. I still can't get over how good that ice cream was. Woo wee. See, charging five quid for that ice cream. You're still talking about the ice cream? Yeah, um, I've yeah. looped back. Charging five quid for it is a lot, but they charge four quid for the cake jars. That yeah, were that was too half much. Half the size and not all that. That was too much, yeah. We four didn't like those. Four quid. Right, yeah. anyway, the sausage roll's out, cooling down. We'll try this first. And we actually picked this up reduced, which uh, saved uh, just over a quid. Especially in Marks and Spencer's, you have to utilise the Got to make the most of it. It is a bit pricey. We recently did Audi, and the price difference in what we got was... 20 quid? Yeah, well, so it was triple. One was 9 and one was 30. So it's a big difference. This looks like a chicken burger. It does. Like, this is like an actual full-on chicken burger. Ooh, oh, wow. there's not a whole load of chicken in there, to be no. honest with you. I love slaw, though. Yeah, I love slaw. Right. Okay. Mm. Nice. That's really nice. That's a burger. Mm. It's really yeah. good. Pretty good. Mm. And you know, it's not burger sauce in the sense of like no burger sauce from a kebab shop. <laughs> it's like a, like a spicy mayo. It's kind of like peri peri chickeny. Yeah, I like it. I think it's really nice. Mm. My only feedback would be more chicken because yeah, there's only like a small piece of chicken in there. Whereas it needs like a big like patty of chicken, doesn't it? Yeah. I think we'll give it an eight and a half. Yeah. That is a bit that's better than any chicken sandwich you're buying at any other supermarket. True. Yeah. Good. Eminence is doing well. Eminence always does well. I know. Just wish we could afford it more frequently. Yeah, I know. But yeah, all right, sausage roll time? Yeah. How's it looking? It was good. Oh, okay. Pastry looks good. Let me see. It's cooked well. Yeah. It's always worth chucking a sausage roll in the oven. Yeah, I agree. 15 minutes. If you've got the time, I reckon it's well worth it. I just hope it's not trying to be a sausage. You know what I mean? <laughs> just be what you are. They are, though. They, the whole point is that. Yay, nay? Y yay. It's trying to be a sausage. What do you mean by that? They're trying to... It's a vegan sausage roll, so it's trying to be like a sausage. But we've, we've had better. I think that's the thing, right? I think actually even Greg's, even though the pastry in Greg's always looks really pale, the actual sausage inside Greg's vegan ones is nicer than mm. that. So it's Wenzel's more, and Greg's is nicer than that. It's just more opinion. seasoned. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Two? three more things. Three. Oh, okay. Shall we? Two chocolate, one drink. Two chocolate, one drink. Should we do a chocolate sandwich? Let's do a sandwich. Okay, so some new chocolate bars. Um, and these again are from the MS Food Collection, which seems to be their like finest thing. Do you think that's oh, what the finest. Yeah, that's what the ice cream tub thing was uh, as well. Okay. So this is their I kind of like, it. we've put all our eggs in this basket. <laughs> um, we've gone for the hazelnut and sea salt vegan chocolate. Mm. We have had a lot of good vegan chocolate. Well, we I, I probably had more than you have, but in the supermarket, halls. You know, we sometimes it can be a miss. Yeah, it's, it's, difficult, it's difficult. It doesn't specify whether it's dark or or, or it's like milky. milk. It's forty two percent. Okay. Well, okay. they're bigger squares. You find that always happens with posh chocolate. It the consistency feels slightly different, and it seems to be melting quite quickly. Okay. I don't know if it's hot in here, but that may be just a. a maybe your hands are hot. Maybe. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. Mm. That's delicious. That's got to be one of the best vegan chocolates I've ever tried. Really? Yeah. It, it well, is good. It's just creamy mm. and milky. The hazelnuts are great, 
and it isn't overly salty. No. I'll give it a nine and a half because I like a thicker chocolate. I like more yeah. of a bite. Yeah, you're right. Bark. But it's, it's taste-wise, like, it's good. It's fancy chocolate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not a Cadbury's bar, but that as a thicker bar would be great also. Unreal. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Drink. Yes. Two drinks. We don't two often drinks. have two I drinks. Know. So again, they had a few different flavors of this. This is M&S plant sweetened, lightly sparkling spring water, and this is with orange and mandarin. Plant seasoned. What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. Pl plant sweetened. Oh, seasoned. okay. Sorry. I think their packaging is really cute. I think they do their branding well. In yeah, they do. It looks good. And yeah, there was probably like three or four of these. Different flavors, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm intrigued by this. Often when something's just sparkling, no sugars, no sweeteners, it, it, could, it just, it's hard to compare to other drinks. I'll, I'll wait until you've nice. tried. It's actually really it's nice. It's nice, isn't it? It's actually really nice. It is on the subtler side. You know, if you get a, well, any fizzy, it's usually quite strong. I don't know if you, you know, the Rubicon fizzy drinks. Yeah. It's sort of like that, but it's it's more subtle than some it, other fruits. It still kind of packs a punch though. It's quite clearly, you can yeah. taste the flavor straight away. It's, it's not just like a water. That flavor is more prominent than the yeah, cloudy lemonade. Yeah, that's so true. That's very true. How nice is that though? That's really nice. And that it's really, really refreshing. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's good. That is good. I rate that. I would really like to try the other flavors of yeah, that. Yeah, that's really good. That's solid. That... I wonder if you can buy those in multi-packs. Yeah, I couldn't see any. Right. Last thing. Final thing, yeah. Indulgent chocolate brownies. I was surprised to find these, to be honest with you, because like I'm sure they must have done brownies before. Yeah. Are these a new brownie? These oh, are they in are the bakery a new brownie. section. Uh, obviously the pre-packaged bakery section, but yeah, made with 70% cocoa Belgian dark chocolate. I've got high hopes for these too. I think these will be good. A deliciously irresistible, rich and fudgy chocolate brownie. As I it, like as it should a be. fudgy brownie. I don't like a cakey brownie. Yeah. And if you know brownies, you know what I mean yeah. when I say that. So there you go. That's what a great looking brownie. Feels like a great brownie. Like, it feels fresh even though it's packaged. I feel like this oh, is going to Imagine this with some of that ice cream. This hot. Put this in the air fryer for five minutes. That's so really good. good. <laughs> mm. That is delicious. That's exactly what you want. When you order a brownie or you get a brownie, that is what you want. That's not lacking at all. That's a 10. For me, there is one thing missing. Wow. What I really like, and I don't know how you do this, I like it when the top of a brownie is a little bit firmer. That's crunchy. It's not that crunchy. I reckon I could like... That's crunchy. I, I wouldn't have to bite that. I could just like... <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> you do! Like, you could just mouth it, you don't have to bite it. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing, it tastes incredible, it's, just... it's a perfectly tasteable oh, yeah, brownie. Like gumming brownie. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I would do that, I'm just saying that that is the test. Would recommend nearly all of these things, but I would 100% recommend the ice cream tubs, the little chocolate ball things, honestly. Unreal. And try those brownies. Yeah. Try that sandwich. <laughs> Just go and buy everything that we tried. Yeah. Leave the lemonade and leave the pasta and you're in for a yeah. great night. But yeah, I guess that's... The end of a very that's good haul. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So um, yeah, please get involved with the video, guys. Let us know what you thought of the snacks. Um, drop a comment down below. You can like the video if you're a little bit shy. Yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Like I said, we'll be back very soon with some more foodie, amazing content. Um, yeah, but until then, guys, take care of yourselves and we will see you very, very soon in the next video.